Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel. So a quick video today, if your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is stuttering, glitching or dropping frames even on a high-end PC, then this video is for you. After listening to hundreds of reports over the last few months from users of Flight Sim 2024 in the community, there is one setting that constantly seems to fix performances above all others. And it's one that you may not think to check. Now, when it comes to getting the optimum performance, many people chase things like driver updates, Windows tweaks, DLSS frame generation, and of course, all of those do help, but they are not the root cause for most of the stutters that people experience. You see, the single most important thing in Flight Sim 24, the one thing that kills smoothness is your terrain level of detail. The terrain LOD is brutally CPU heavy and even top end processors like the 7800X3D and the 14900K get hammered by it. So in order to try and achieve a smooth sim, run your terrain LOD settings between 100 and 200. Don't try to push it to 3 or 400. And even small increases, and I mean 10 or 20 points, can instantly bring back those micro stutters. You see, when your terrain level of detail is too high, the main thread, your CPU's primary simulation thread, runs out of time. It doesn't matter if you have a 4080 Super or a 4090, once the main thread chokes, then your sim will stutter. And so dropping that terrain level of detail to a sensible level, and suddenly the sim becomes really smooth, even at busy airport hubs. And so here is how to find your perfect value for the terrain level of detail in the next 20 seconds. Turn on the dev mode FPS window and set your terrain level of detail to 100. Try flying over a dense area like a big airport or a city with photogrammetry and slowly increase that TLOD in small steps, maybe 10 at a time and stop the moment the main thread turns yellow or stutters start to appear. At that point, bring it back down slightly and then finally you've got your sweet spot, your own personal terrain level of detail ceiling. This then can be your starting point for a smooth sim. Once this is under control, then you can start to bring in extra graphic features to make it look as good as possible, all whilst trying to keep that bottleneck under control. But before we go, there are a few quick myths. Things like DLSS will fix stutters. Well, no, DLSS does help the GPU, not your CPU. And a 4090 should be able to run everything maxed out. Well, sadly not. No, terrain level of detail doesn't care what graphics card you've got because it's CPU only. What about then if your sim ran fine yesterday, so it must be a bug? Well, yep, sometimes, but often it's just the terrain level of detail being too aggressive if you're flying in a different head heavier scenery area. And so the thing to take away from this video is if you're going to just do one fix to try and improve your flight sim in performance, then start with the terrain level of detail. As I said, between 100 and 200, find that sweet spot and then keep it there because it is the single biggest factor for getting a smooth, consistent performance for the majority of people. Now in the comments down below, I would love to hear from you guys regarding your own personal journeys and what you have done to try and get your sim running smooth and does the terrain level of detail fix work for you? Let me know down in the comments. I look forward to reading those and of course you may help lots of other people who come to read and have the same problems. I hope this short video has been useful for you. If you have found it useful, please don't forget to leave a like and if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and of course live stream flights thanks so much for watching i'll see you all again in the next one bye bye for now